of race car fabrication and restoration i'm ronnie humphrey and as always i greatly appreciate you guys joining us today welcome to all of our new subscribers i'm amazed at how many new subscribers we're getting just every day thank you so much if you haven't subscribed i'd greatly appreciate if you do so and don't forget to hit that like button as you can see we're inside the trailer we got our shelves back from powder coating and we're going to try to finish the interior of this thing up today we still got some more electrical work uh, to do i'm gonna wait on my buddy uh tim totten to get over and finish that up but we're gonna go ahead and try to finish up the the interior as far as the structural stuff so we can go ahead and move our parts and tools and spares and stuff in here so right along with us let's see what we get done all right this is what the shelves look like finished and i've already cut the plywood we went to home depot this morning picked up plywood and got it cut to fit the top three shelves we're gonna leave the bottom open partially my fuel jugs down there then on this side, it's going to be where the tires are going in, kind of stand-up tire rack. We're going to sheet this side here with aluminum. We'll back the uh, air compressor up in there. So first item of business, trying to get this uh, thing bolted down and uh, get it in position. Then we'll put the shells in and get them installed. Then we've got to put a lip of aluminum around each one. All right, we got the rack bolted down. Thanks to my grandson, Ryder, helping me. Uh, I didn't show you all that glorious drilling, but it was, trust me, it was typical drilling a hole, putting a bolt in and tightening it up. So now we're going to try to see if we can get the shells in here, then we'll start on our aluminum covers. Okay, we got our shelves installed now, and I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do my aluminum. It's kind of design as I go. We're gonna put a flat piece right here to keep everything running off the edge, and I'm gonna put probably some two inch pieces along the top. Uh, I kind of wish I would have put a middle bar down the middle now, but uh, I'll probably put a one inch lip on the top. I'll, I'll show you when we get it bent up. We'll start off with an easy one. I'll tell you, we'll go ahead and start this long ones first. We'll see if we can get that figured out. Okay, a little update. Buddy came here and gave me a hand on these shells. And we got the three made to this. And I've got the end cap made, which is going to go on this, this one right here. And uh, I hadn't even mounted this tire rack cage yet. But we're getting there. Uh, just got to, I think I'm going to run out of rivets. So. But uh, we'll get, get as far as we can here. And we'll check back with you here shortly. Well, we got this side finished. And I had just enough ribbons. I think I got two left over. So it looks pretty good. I actually would have had white aluminum. But I ran out of white. And so we decided to go with the black. Since that's what I had. And we're going to go get this thing mounted here now. Up to the floor, got to drill four holes down there and see if my wife come out and help me bolt it to the floor. Then we put one sheet of aluminum there and then I go grab some more rivets and I think then that'll be a wrap in this thing. We can pull it back out. I got to finish my electrical on there and uh, just tie that back up to the wall. Now we had to remove it as you remember to be able to get the shelf in, but get that screwed back in the wall. We should be in pretty good shape. Well, we got the tire cage bolted down now thanks to my wife coming out and holding the wrench for me so we're going to box this side in so let's go ahead and some metal fab area see if we can get some black aluminum to cover that up and then we will be done with this thing i'll make this thing 60 inches tall so we can put a lip over the top of it Crazy, it was 40 degrees last Saturday in rain. It's about 80 today. I don't understand this weather.
let's go see if this thing will fit now. Hopefully it will. All right, I think that's gonna work. Pulling plastic off again. All right, we're officially out of rivets now so gotta run to the store get some more rivets we'll get this done man i am wore out i tell you what this took a lot longer than what i thought it would take today but man i'm glad i had to get on this get this done today because we have to leave on be out of town next week just gotta give you an idea of the gas shells go down there plus the jack stands and then uh got three shelves these are nice and strong and sturdy you see now how the tire rack or tire holder is going to work, tire cage. We're going to make a deal where they'll actually go down through the floor and uh, they'll actually strap down straight through the center of the wheels. But pretty pleased everything turned out. The trailer's not as square as I wish it had been. I built everything square and the trailer's not square. So we got a couple of gaps in some place. I had to trim a little bit of aluminum but I'm, overall i'm happy got the cable guide back in and hopefully this door will shut now and there she does okay oh, man all we have to do now is finish run that conduit down to the back so we can put the electrical outlet back here we got that light bar has to go across there got, there's wires for it already and we got to seal the roof and this project will be done. And I tell you, it can't be done soon enough as far as I'm concerned. 